Queen Margrethe II of Denmark is released from the hospital in Copenhagen. Prince Albert II of Monaco attends a recycling event in Port Hercule. Queen Letizia of Spain participates in a meeting in Madrid. And the Royal Hashemite Court announces the wedding date of Princess Imam bint Abdullah II of Jordan. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Alexandra, and these are your Royal Highlights of the Week, also known as events that, well, I actually missed because I was on vacation. Anyway, in Amman, the Royal Hashemite Court announced this morning that the wedding between Her Royal Highness Princess Imam Bint Abdullah II of Jordan and Mr. Jamel Jimmy Alexander Thermotis will take place on March 12, 2023. Quote, the Royal Hashemite Court extended its sincere congratulations to Their Majesties King Abdullah II and Queen Rania Al Abdullah II of Jordan on this occasion and wishes Her Royal Highness Princess Imam and Mr. Thermotis a lifetime of happiness. End quote. Unfortunately, the Royal Hashemite Court did not say where the wedding ceremony will take place. However, I'm going to assume, naturally, that it will take place in Amman and perhaps at Al Husseini Palace. In Evertsburg, their Royal Highnesses Prince Carl Philip and Princess Sophia of Sweden, along with their son, attended the 2023 Vasa Lopet. In Sakir, His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco and His Royal Highness Crown Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa Bahrain attended the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix held at the Bahrain International Circuit. In Doha, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad al Tahani, the Emir of Qatar, opened the fifth edition of the United Nations Conference on the Least Developed Countries at the Qatar National Convention Center. The theme of this year's conference is From Potential to Prosperity. After a photo call for the press, the Emir held audiences with several heads of state participating in the conference, including the Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, the Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, the Prime Minister of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, and the President of the Republic of Serbia, to name a few. Discussions focused on, quote, cooperation relations between the state of Qatar and their countries and prospects for enhancing them, in addition to topics on the conference agenda." End quote. On Friday, in Madrid, Her Majesty Queen Letizia of Spain, as Honorary President, participated in a meeting with the Board of Trustees from UNICEF España, held at the headquarters of UNICEF. During the meeting, Her Majesty the Queen was informed about UNICEF's recent relief work, specifically regarding children who were affected by the deadly 7.8 earthquake in parts of Turkey and Syria on February 6th. Her Majesty the Queen was also informed of the, quote, results of the third edition of the Opinion Barometer for Children and Adolescents promoted by UNICEF España and by a research team from the University of Sevilla, end quote. After the meeting, Her Majesty the Queen received the book entitled UNICEF, 75 Years of Defending Rights of Children. The book was created in collaboration with Spanish writers, photographers, painters, illustrators, humorists, journalists, and academics. Meanwhile, His Majesty King Felipe VI of Spain attended the ninth intergenerational meeting La Granja 2023 organized by the Fundación Foro de Foros and held at the Centro de Congresos y Convenciones Guardia de Cor in La Granja de San Ildefonso. On the Port Hercule Espeland, His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco attended the 2023 Monaco Collecte. Organized by the government of Monaco, Monaco Collecte is an event that urges Monegasque citizens and residents to donate items that they no longer use, want, or need, such as clothes, toys, knickknacks, you name it. Like last year's successful event, several charities, including the Croix Rouge Monegasque, were on hand at the recycling event to collect and redistribute hundreds of items donated. In Paris, 
Her Royal Highness, Princess Alexandra of Hanover, attended the Giambattista Valli Fall Winter 2023-2024 Women's Pret-a-Porter Fashion Show held at the Musée d'Art Moderne de Paris. Also on Friday in Luxembourg City, His Royal Highness Grand Duke Henri of Luxembourg held an audience with the President of the Senate of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Professor Modeste Bahati Lukwibo, at the Palais Grand Ducal. Meanwhile, at Chateau de Berg in Colmar-Berg, Her Royal Highness Grand Duchess Maria Theresa of Luxembourg held an audience with the president of the non-profit organization Pour Un Parenthèse, Dr. Isabel Kiefer, and the vice president, Ms. Patricia Ferrente. Thereafter, the Grand Duchess held an audience with the director general of ESH 2022, Ms. Nancy Braun. In the evening, the Grand Ducal couple, accompanied by the mayor of Echternach, Mr. Yees Wengler, attended a benefit concert held at the Trifolian Echternach. While the Grand Ducal couple were enjoying a concert, His Royal Highness Hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume of Luxembourg attended the 125th anniversary celebrations of the non-profit organization, the National Association of Fruit Growers, held at the Cirque Cité in Luxembourg City. On Thursday, in Aqaba, His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan, accompanied by Her Majesty Queen Rania of Jordan, laid the first foundation stone for the King Hussein Cancer Center's King Abdullah II bin al-Hussein Building. The facility will provide medical care to cancer patients in the southern governorates instead of having to head to Amman to seek proper care. According to a press release, the first phase of the project will be launched in the third quarter of 2024, quote, with a four-story building extending over an area of 6,738 square meters and employing 90 medical and supporting staff members. The KHCC's Aqaba facility will provide comprehensive medical services to cancer patients, including early detection, chemo and radiation therapy, laboratories, colonoscopy, pain management, a pharmacy, and home care. Establishing the Aqaba project is in line with the KHCC's vision to bolster its role as a national institution for cancer treatment. End quote. Meanwhile, in Monte Carlo, his Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco visited the Lancaster Laboratories, which is owned by Cody Incorporated, to view products for the relaunch of the premium skincare collection Lean Pronsier. Lean Pronsier was originally the official beauty brand for the late Princess Grace of Monaco and her family in the 1960s. The updated skincare collection currently has four products, including an essence, a serum, a moisturizer, and an eye cream. Lean Pronsier will first launch in a tight brick-and-mortar distribution as well as travel, retail, and online on March 17, 2023. Also on Thursday, their Royal Highnesses Crown Prince Haakon and Crown Princess Metamarit of Norway concluded their two-day official working visit to England. Their visit aimed to promote cooperation, especially in the green industrial transition and innovation, to expand cooperation on energy and to promote Norwegian literature and music. Prior to returning home to Oslo, the Crown Prince couple met with their Royal Highnesses, the Prince and Princess of Wales, at Windsor Castle. During their meeting, discussions focused on the green transition, the environment, and much more. In Copenhagen, Miss Lini Balaby, head of communications for the Danish Royal Court, issued a press release on Thursday to announce that Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark has been discharged from the Rig Hus Hospitalet following extensive back surgery on February 22, 2023. Her Majesty the Queen is currently convalescing at Ameliumborg Slot. Miss Balaby goes on to note that Her Majesty's medical team, quote, responsible for the operation and subsequent hospitalization, is satisfied with the process and the Queen's condition. A longer course of rehabilitation now awaits, which may extend over the next few months. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince will continue to be regent for the time being. The Queen expresses her great gratitude for the professional and good treatment the Queen has received during her hospitalization at the Rig Hus Hospitalet. End quote. On 
On Thursday, in Brussels, His Majesty King Philippe of the Belgians held an audience with the rector of the University of Lumbambashi in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Professor Gilbert Fatula at Chateau de Laken. In the afternoon, His Majesty the King visited Recycle Art in Molenbeek. Established in 2017, Recycle Art is a non-profit organization that manages a, quote, multidisciplinary art center and projects in social economy, represented in a bar restaurant, bar recycle art, and a wood metal working space, recycle art fabric, end quote. Located in an old printing factory in the Canal Zone, Recycle Art organizes parties, concerts, photo exhibitions, community-based initiatives, and lectures on architecture, public space, and design, and photography. During his visit, His Majesty the King met with artists and the founders of Recycle Art. On Thursday, in Edelbruck, Her Royal Highness Hereditary Grand Duchess Stephanie of Luxembourg, as High Patron, arrived at the Centre Hospitalier du Nord, to participate in a roundtable meeting with representatives from the Luxembourg Association of Midwives. During the meeting, discussions focused on the shortage of medical and nursing staff, the tasks of the midwife before, during, and after birth, the evolution of the profession and training, its psychosocial role during home follow-up, postpartum depression, which affects 10% of young mothers, gynecologist-slash-midwife synergies, and much more. After the meeting, the hereditary Grand Duchess was given a tour of the new delivery room. Meanwhile, in Kirchberg, His Royal Highness Grand Duke Henri of Luxembourg officially opened the 13th edition of the Luxembourg City Film Festival held at the Kinepolis du Kirchberg. The film Mon Crime by director-writer Mr. Francoise Ozen opened this year's festival. Over the course of the next 10 days, 265 films will be screened, 13 of which are from Luxembourg. The festival will close with the film Ingeborg Bachmann, starring Luxembourg native and star of the recent critically acclaimed movie Corsage, Miss Vicky Crepes. In Paris, Her Royal Highness Princess Clotilde of Savoy attended the Roger Vivier Press Day held at the Maison L'Amérique Latine during Paris Fashion Week. Meanwhile, Her Royal Highness Princess Maria Carolina of Bourbon II Sicily took to social media to announce that she, accompanied by her sister, Her Royal Highness Princess Maria Chiara of Bourbon II Sicily, were about to attend the Givenchy Fall-Winter 2023-2024 Women's Pret-a-Porter Fashion Show. Moreover, the lovely princess wanted you to know what she was wearing, so she did a mini photo shoot outside the venue. And finally, on Wednesday in Luxembourg City, His Royal Highness Grand Duke Henri of Luxembourg attended the 6th edition of the Virtual Reality Pavilion, held at the Niemünster Abbey. According to a press release, the VR Pavilion is, quote, dedicated to virtual reality and original immersive experiences, thus allowing the public to explore a selection of new narrative and innovative works." End quote. During his visit, the Grand Duke took part in a VR experience by immersing himself in a selection of films chosen by the Film Fund Luxembourg for the Luxembourg City Film Festival. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow on Monday, March 6th with all the latest royal news. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful Sunday evening and a fantastic week ahead. And also, I'd like to apologize to all of you for not uploading a video on Saturday, but I was having a great time on my vacation, so I decided to not upload a video and just keep on having a happy vacation. So... <laughs> I apologize to all of you, but without a doubt, I will be back tomorrow. So again, with that, enjoy your evening, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.